Hi, I'm Paul DeBartolomeo. Welcome to Training Minutes. In this month's segment, we're going to discuss how to free a person trapped under the front axle of this vehicle. We're going to do a single point lift off the skid plate or the oil pan in the front of this vehicle. Some things we need to consider before we start our extrication is whether the vehicle is ignition is off, whether the vehicle is in park, and we want to have the emergency brake set. We don't want to start lifting this vehicle and have it move unexpectedly on us. As in every emergency situation, when we arrive on scene, we want to do a scene survey. I want to walk around the vehicle and size it up and look for any unknown hazards. As I do my scene survey, I'm looking for any fluids that might be a hazard, any wires that might be down. Most importantly, I want to see if we have any other victims under the vehicle. Prior to doing our lift, we want to stabilize this vehicle as best we can. Because we're going to be lifting the front end of the vehicle, we want to stabilize the rear end of the vehicle. The firefighters are going to come in and stabilize the back end of this vehicle using a step shock. In addition to that, they're going to place a 4x4 behind the rear tire. We're going to be lifting off the front end. The car is going to come directly off the ground. So we just wanted to do a little added stabilization so that this vehicle doesn't roll backwards on us. Let's walk around to the driver's side and we'll stabilize that side of the vehicle. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to stabilize the rear driver's side of the vehicle. Firefighters are going to come in with their step chocks and their wedges. Good. We stabilize the vehicle, and then again, we want to just use a 4x4 behind the rear tire just to prevent this vehicle from rolling when we do perform our lift. All right, now we're going to move into our single point lift off the oil pan of this car. All right, now we have our vehicle stabilized, we can begin our single point lift. What we're going to do is we've got a firefighter in the front of the vehicle. He's going to start building up his lift stack. We want to find an area underneath the vehicle that is, is flat and non-jagged so that we can lift off of. We have a skid plate under there, an oil pan that we can access. That would be a good place to lift off of. Simultaneously, our other two firefighters are going to move in. They're going to start to build their capture stacks right underneath the A-post, essentially behind the front tires. So when we do this, we're going to lift the front end up just enough to extricate this patient. We'll lower the load onto those two capture stacks. As we can see, we have 4x4 four, four four cribbing finished out with a top layer of 2x4s, a solid base for our airbags to go on. Again, we always use stacked bags. We advocate that for the added height that we can get in one of these lifts. We always want to put the, the bigger bag on the bottom, the smaller bag on top. We want to build up as close as we can to the underside of the surface of the load we're going to be lifting so we can maximize the the lift capacity of the bags. We don't want to use the bags to make up space. Our bags are set. We're ready to lift. Up on red. Up on red. Slow. Stop. Up on green. Up on green. Slow. Stop. As we talked about in previous segments, what the firefighter is doing is a technique called nesting. He started inflating the, the bigger bottom bag first just to make contact. Then he started inflating the top bag, alternating. At the end of the lift, we want to have the top bag slightly more inflated than the bottom bag so those bags kind of bond together in a nesting manner. As the lift is going on, the two stabilization firefighters are stabilizing the load. They're building up as we lift. We lift an inch, we crib an inch. We've achieved our maximum height that we need to perform this extrication. Our red. capture stacks are in place. We'll lower the bags. We'll capture the load with our cribbing. Stop. Down on green. Down on green. Stop. Down on red. Stop. All right, the load has been securely captured on our capture stacks. The firefighter is going to move our lifting equipment out of the way so that we can perform our extrication. Okay. 
As with any extrication we do, we would want to take in mind C-spine immobilization. We'd want to board and collar this patient before we move them. Yeah, as we see, this is yet another option on how to lift a vehicle. There are many ways that we could go about lifting a vehicle. This is a good option. It's a stable lift. Uh, we're only dealing with a couple of inches. We only lifted this car maybe two or three inches off the ground in order to get this patient out safely and transported to EMS. I'm Paul DiBartolomeo. Thank you for watching this month's segment of Training Minutes.